A few years ago, I went to an organ recital at Trinity Episcopal Cathedral in Portland. It was a magnificent concert, but the problem was that because the altar blocks the view of the organ console, I couldn't see who was playing. If I had been able to walk around behind the altar, this is what I would have found. I would not have found some young hotshot organist. I would have found 87-year-old Catherine Crozier, the first lady of the organ, the grand dam of organists in the world. She's artist in residence here at Trinity Episcopal Cathedral in Northwest Portland, and she has the joy of playing one of the great organs in the United States, the magnificent Rosales. Catherine and her husband, Harold Gleason, literally wrote the book on playing classical organ. It has had eight editions. Harold died in 1980, and this latest edition was edited by Catherine in 1996. What is it you love about the organ? I wish I could say something that was really convincing, but I'm afraid I can't. I just grew into it, and I enjoy it. I like to, uh, sometimes I think when I go to someplace else to play and run into an instrument that isn't too good, I think, how did I get into this? But most of the time, there is very interesting. What drew you to the organ in the first place? I suppose uh, it was because of my family. My father was a Presbyterian minister, and he knew nothing about music. In fact, I used to be terribly embarrassed when I went to our meetings on Wednesday nights because he would sing the hymns, and I thought, oh, this is terrible. I hope nobody hears him. But my mother was a singer, a very nice singer. <clears throat> so um, I was exposed to uh, music uh, of that sort, music in the service for a very long time. An anonymous benefactor heard Catherine practicing and decided to put her through college. It was at the Eastman School of Music in Rochester, New York, that she met Harold Gleason, a professor of music. Are you saying that you married the professor? I married the professor, <laughs> yes. <laughs> So, Sound dramatic. Yeah, well, it was. <laughs> Perhaps you're thinking, well, yes, she does still have her chops in a big way. But I suppose she restricts herself to old classics and church music. If you had attended her solo recital at Trinity last spring, you would have been wrong.
she's kind of the Leontine Price of the classical organ world. And that and most people have heard of Leontine, and that kind of puts it in the right perspective. Catherine was a real pioneer in terms of being a woman organist who was primarily a concert artist. So she really was a pioneer in terms of women playing the organ at, at the time she began doing uh, recitals and concerts. Last year, at age 86, Catherine decided to stop touring. I thought I'd sort of had my fun. And uh, the instruments, now it's a kind of repetition, so I don't miss it at all. I'm supposed to miss it, I know, but I don't at all. Because I, I don't worry now about getting to a place and having enough practice time to prepare a program, all those things that enter in to concertizing. It's been, I, I've loved it, but uh, I don't miss it now. So I think I chose the time to stop. continue to be as great as you are, you know, over the age of 35? <laughs> well, one thing, you don't think about it. Every once in a while I say to myself, well, just a minute, you're 87. And then I forget that again <laughs> and go on. So I think when you have the uh, energy to work, you just go on. And of course, you learn more as you go along. I learn all the time. And I study all the time, so that uh, I hope I'm improving all the time. And that's why Catherine Crozier is still here practicing as the day ends and the evening begins. Finding the right stops, making things just so, and learning.